Catherine here. In this video, I'm going to show you five incredibly powerful morning habits you will need no more than 10 minutes to develop that can give you a huge boost in kidney health. I'm telling you this because I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for almost 10 years now, and I've met several patients that after battling for a long time, we're finally able to find a way to lower their creatinine quick. Wow! What they did is taking control of their health through the right habits. In particular, don't miss our number one for today because that's the only good habit in the world that can lower your creatinine by 17.9% even in stage 5. But before that, our good habit number 5. Number 5, start your morning with a healing tea. Okay, starting every morning with a cup of tea is a great habit for your kidneys, especially if you drink a tea with proven healing properties. There are teas with powerful anti-inflammatory, blood pressure lowering, and cleansing properties. Try hibiscus tea if you have high blood pressure. This beautiful looking herbal tea is not just tasty, it can actually lower your blood pressure by an average of 8 over 3.5 millimeters of mercury. This makes it really useful for people wanting to improve their kidney function naturally. Remember that keeping your blood pressure in the right range with natural remedies, diet and healthy lifestyle choices comes with a lot of extra health benefits. Wow! And also try matcha tea. This is a specialty from Japan that has become incredibly popular lately, both for its taste and for its properties. It can promote relaxation and focus without increasing drowsiness. It's awesome, by the way! I always use it when I want to be more productive at work. Dry green tea for its antioxidants content. Okay, the catechins in green tea can help lowering cholesterol and improving blood flow. And there are also studies showing that green tea may improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar levels. Time for our number four. This good habit is proven to lower your blood sugar levels. It fights diabetes. It also protects the kidneys by reducing inflammation and can lower your creatinine levels. Okay guys, before I show you what it is, I want to say thanks to our sponsor for today's video. Guys, I want to show you my new wallet. I've completely decluttered my old wallet by upgrading to the Ridge wallet. And I think it's awesome. The Ridge wallet can fit into your pocket way better than any conventional wallet and it still holds up to 12 cards plus cash. But what I like the most when I receive it, it's the premium feeling of the materials. There is also 15% discount going on for all the wallets at Ridge.com for this week only. So right now is the best moment to get one. So check the link down in the description for a 15% discount and use double kidney code. Time for our number 4 now. You won't believe how healthy this habit is until you try it. Number 4. Eat more spicy. Guys, if there is one thing that really helps to lower your creatinine levels, it's eating healthy. It is proven by science that eating healthier can help slow down kidney disease and improve the most important markers of kidney health. But while eating healthier means renouncing to salt and sugar, it doesn't mean renouncing to taste. Fact: Many spices have health benefits for your kidneys that go way beyond just decreasing the need for salt and sugar. Starting from the breakfast. Add as many spices as you can to your meals. 
Hot peppers, for example, are not just great to add some heat to soups and pastas. They will also taste amazing in a cup of hot chocolate. Not to mention that they reduce the risk for kidney damage by improving blood circulation. Another spice you cannot miss during breakfast is cinnamon, especially if you suffer from diabetes. Studies have shown that cinnamon can lower fasting blood sugar by 10 to 29% in diabetic patients, which is a significant amount. To add cinnamon to your diet, try it in a smoothie. Mint is also great, and it doesn't just add lots of flavor to your soups, it also has a mild diuretic detoxing effect on the body. Try it in a tea! And guys, if you want to see more spices with kidney healing benefits, my video up here is for you! Our number three is a little known health danger you should avoid. Decades of merciless marketing campaigns by big food campaigns instilled in the consumers a fake sense of what's actually healthy. So get out of the habit of consuming this particular food if you care about your kidneys. This food contains additives that may end up causing serious damage to the kidneys, and most people still believe they are healthy. Avoid sweeteners. Yes, sweeteners may be way more dangerous than how TV commercials portray them, especially but not only for the health of your kidneys. Even though diet soda contains no sugar and just one small calorie, a large study linked drinking two or more diet sodas can, per day, to developing kidney disease. Now, while the link between drinking artificially sweetened drinks and kidney damage is actually proven, the reason why this happens was unexplained until recently. But now we know that the main downside of using artificial sweeteners when trying to reduce your sugar intake is that they keep you hooked on sweet. People who drink diet sodas regularly usually end up eating more sugar, even if it doesn't come from these drinks. And that's very bad. Now, even if you are able to overcome the cravings, there is another reason why sweeteners such as aspartame, sucralose, even stevia, unfortunately, are bad for you. There is evidence that artificial sweeteners stimulate the growth of unhealthy bacteria in the gut microbiome. And never underestimate your gut health. It is crucial if you want your kidneys to improve. Fact. Having a healthy gut microbiome doesn't just cause heartburn, constipation, or diarrhea. It can also make you depressed, make your blood sugar skyrocket, and make kidney disease progress faster. This brings us to our good habit number two. Number two, eat a diverse range of foods to keep your gut healthy. According to many recent studies, gut health is key for heart health, cholesterol levels, blood sugar levels, for mental health, and for kidney health. The gut is the only other organ in the body that can remove creatinine and uremic toxins other than the kidneys. And while supplements can help, your best strategy for a better gut and kidney health is to focus on eating a diverse range of foods. Sources of prebiotics that nourish the healthy bacteria already present in your gut can really help. Prebiotic-rich foods include artichokes, bananas in moderate amounts, asparagus, oats, and apples. But you should also eat probiotics-rich foods such as kimchi, a Korean delicacy, but also sauerkraut, kefir, and more. In particular, there is a tasty beverage you can easily make at home that's really, really powerful when it comes to improve the health of your gut. Its unique probiotic profile is so healthy for the kidneys, researchers now believe it may even repair kidney damage. Not to mention that it tastes great! Do you want to see this very healthy recipe? I've shared it in my video up here. Watch it now to know more! But don't go away yet! It's time now to see the most powerful good habit to restore the health of your kidneys. Kidney disease stage 4 and 5 patients who took 2.5 grams twice daily of this natural remedy improved their kidney function by 24.8% in 9 months. 
Our number one for today is number one, astragalus. Guys, making a good habit out of this remedy is something I recommend to every single kidney disease patient, even those in stage five pre-dialysis. This remedy has a proven track record. It can lower blood pressure and improve heart health. It can lower blood sugar levels and treat diabetes. It can lower proteinuria, one of the most important markers of kidney damage. It restores kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. So if you want to know everything about astragalus, one of the most powerful remedy for kidney disease in existence, please watch my video about it up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.